Did you know that the average cybersecurity architect makes $138,000 a year? Well, in this video, I want to talk about the certification you should get if you want to be on your road to doing that. And that's going to be the SC100 exam, which is going to give you the Microsoft Cybersecurity Architect Expert Level certification. So let's get into it. Now, when it comes to cybersecurity certifications, there is no higher cybersecurity certification than the Microsoft Cybersecurity Architect. Now, this certification essentially takes concepts from all the various areas of Microsoft Azure, as well as Microsoft 365, and pulls them all together into one exam, one certification exam here, the SC100 exam. Now, this exam, covers a massive wide variety of various topics and I want to look at those topics and this is in honor of me finally releasing my SC100 course many many of you have uh, messaged me for a very long time asking me to make this course and I finally did and I've actually got it uh, at a discount at examlabpractice.com slash courses right now if you go there at this very minute temporarily uh, that course is on sale now for $12.99. It's normally running for $84.99 and uh, Udemy actually sets the price, but go to that link and check it out. Anyway, let's talk about these topics. So the uh, you have a, a, a to various topics on the SC100 exam that cover uh, various types of uh, lessons that you have to understand and concepts you have to understand if you want to pass the exam. The first is design resiliency, where you get into understanding the design of security strategy, designing security solutions that uh, that involve things like ransomware best practices, dealing with design configurations for secure backup and restore. That's going to involve the Azure backup services and having an understanding of that. You've got security updates, understanding security updates, which that gets into the Azure Update Manager. We learn about Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference Architecture. If we want to pass this exam in the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark, that's the MCRA and the MCSB. So these are some topics. Maybe these might be new to you. All right. But this gets into the various cybersecurity capabilities and controls of all that. You learn a lot about the Zero Trust Security Model if you want to knock out this exam. The zero trust security model is uh, also going to play upon zero trust rapid modernization plan, also known as RAMP. Something else that's really big in cybersecurity, if you're not already familiar with this, is the various frameworks. And a framework is a set of documents, guidelines, best practices that's going to help you in designing a proper secure environment. Okay, at least from a Microsoft standpoint. Okay, uh, you've got the ability to be able to make recommendation solutions if you're going to do this sort of thing. And of course, if you are a cybersecurity architect, I can tell you that is something you will do a lot of. You're going to get asked a lot of advice. You're going to have to point people in the right direction. In some cases, you may not even be the person that's implementing this. You might be just simply uh, a contractor that is providing advice on the design. Uh, solutions they're going to put in place. Another thing is DevSecOps. That gets into development security operations, so that's designing applications and, and all that. You don't necessarily have to be a programmer or anything like that for this certification exam to pass it. Um, they want you to sort of look at it from the standpoint of even if you were just a manager over programmers, you would be dealing with that. You have design secure, uh, solutions for security operations. This is where you're really going to dive deep into Microsoft Defender. you got to understand that. Microsoft Sentinel um, then the Microsoft Defender XDR, which is Extended Detection and Response. If you didn't know, that's what they've changed the name of Microsoft Defender. It used to just be called Microsoft Defender. Now they're calling it Microsoft Defender XDR, and that's the big name now. Um, so you're going to learn about identity and access management. This is one of your first lines of defense, of course, understanding the proper ways to protect your accounts, understanding things like Microsoft Intra-ID, formerly known as Azure AD, business-to-business uh, -business and business-to-customer connections, all that fun stuff. You'll have to understand securing privilege access. That gets into Microsoft Intra-PIM, uh, privileged identity management. All right, I actually have some videos on uh, PIM in my YouTube channel here. Uh, design solutions for regulatory compliance. That gets into a lot of the compliance sides of things, dealing with um, uh, sensitivity labels and all that fun stuff. 
You've got design solutions for security posture. That's where you understand that pos security posture involves making sure that you are um, taking all the proper steps to secure your environment, but also you have to maintain that. It's not something that's a one and done solution where you just put it in place and um, leave it alone for, for good and everything just stays you know, wonderful. You have to stay on top of it. All right. Uh, and uh, you're going to learn about security posture with Microsoft Defender for Cloud. You'll learn about the Microsoft Secure Score to pass this exam. These are all things that, of course, you got to get down if you're going to knock out this certification. You have design solutions for securing servers and endpoints, a little bit of Intune there, dealing with Defender for Servers. You got dealing with the requirements that involve SAS Pass and IAAS. That's uh, the various workloads that are hosted in Azure. Uh, and then some being Microsoft 365 as well. Design solutions securing Microsoft 365, jumping more into the Microsoft Fender Cloud, Microsoft Secure Score, Microsoft Fender XDR, um, securing applications. Again, you don't have to be a programmer here, but you do have to understand how to protect applications. So you'll be dealing with things like the, uh, the web application firewall and what's called the Azure front door. Got to have knowledge on that. And then you have design solutions for securing an organization's data. Uh, and that's going to get into things like dealing with uh, SQL databases, Cosmo databases. You'll, you have to understand a little bit about Synapse, analytics, all that fun stuff. So there is a lot to get into here, a lot you want to know. But again, this is a the big time cybersecurity architect. This is an expert level certification. And they, there's big money out there to be made for people that uh, can tackle this. It looks beautiful on a resume. All right. Well, with that said, again, I hope you'll check out examlabpractice.com slash courses. I've got my SC100 uh, course on uh, available right now. It's got over 18 hours worth of training. It's the biggest one that's out there, and it covers all the various concepts that you need to know to pass the exam. All right, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it, and I'll see you in the next one.